Hello the Red Devil. Welcome to Manchester United News. Eric Ten Hag has found a surprise new Manchester United undroppable after Crystal Palace win. Manchester United beat Crystal Palace 3-1 at the Melbourne Cricket Ground to continue their perfect record in preseason under Eric Ten Hag. There was a moment towards the end of the first half in Melbourne when Diogo Dalot made one of those infield runs that Eric Ten Hag has been demanding of his Manchester United fullbacks. But Dalot didn't cut inside Jadon Sanko and offering a passing option. He ran directly infield and kept going to the point that when a cross was deflected from a corner United's right back was stood next to Anthony Marshall and center forward. This was a moment when the ball didn't find its way to Dalot, but might be the best example of how well he's taken to Ten Hag's demands of his fullbacks. The approach might be bad news for Aaron Wan Bissaka, but Dalot has gone from under pressure towards the end of last season to looking like he might have a real future under the new manager. United could yet look to sign a right back this summer, especially if they can offload Wan Bissaka. But anyone coming in will have a fight on their hands with Dalot. He created the first half goal against Crystal Palace, controlling a pass from Tyrell Malaysia on his chest and showing slick footwork to work a yard for a cross. Anthony Marshall did the rest. His partnership with Sanko down the right hand side is already looking good, but Dallas' influence isn't confined to that flank. At one point towards the end of the first half, United built an attack with Dalot and Malaysia stood within 15 yards of each other as number 8. It was a very modern approach and another sign the 10 Hex training stations are having an impact on the pitch. At various points last season, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial and Sanko all look to be short of confidence and belief. It hasn't taken long under 10 Hag for those traits to be restored. All three have visibly grown in stature as preseason has gone on, and if the 20 minutes they produced in the second half at the MCG is anything to go by, they could be a problem for plenty of defenses this season. They were all involved in the wonderful second goal, but the touches they produced for the third summed up the confidence flowing through their veins. Rashford swiveled on halfway to find space and sent a pass straight to Marshall, who immediately flicked. The ball onto the running Sanko. Rather than panic in front of goal, he took his time, waiting for Ray Matthews to commit before applying the finishing touch. It was a fine goal. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to turn on the notification.